Welcome to the Comma Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, uh, we're talking about 2018 NFL Draft Tight End Analytics uh, Pre Bowl Review. Uh, essentially, what we are going to do is we're going to look at all the tight ends that popped the most statistically, production wise, in the FBS area. And I've done videos in the past. I know a lot of you guys that are on the channel uh, have come to the channel from my top five uh, videos where I did top five tight ends and top five sleepers and all those other videos. What I want you guys to understand is that when I made those videos, as I maybe I didn't make it very clear, who knows. When I made those videos, I was trying to be as clear as possible that I was doing that to just to give you a preview of the prospects to watch in the uh, it, it, this year, essentially. So basically giving you a list of tight ends that you should be familiar with, that you should, you, know, you should know about, you should be following because they had decent production traits going into the year. This is looking at all the tight ends that popped this year. So... There may have been tight ends that popped production-wise last year, but didn't pop this year for whatever reason. Injury, problems at home, the girlfriend left, whatever. You know, stuff happens. Uh, there's going to be players like that that are not on this list. But keep them. But again, this list is not about what happened last year. It's about what happened this year. So we're essentially looking at all the players who popped, statistically speaking, when it comes to tight ends, this season, not last season. Uh, I'm going to be doing more videos in the future, individual videos as well, on individual tight end prospects with all the analytics, the production, combine, all that stuff. So all that stuff is coming to this channel. So if you're really big into the draft, if you're really big into knowing information and knowing data that nobody else does or cares about or pays attention to and it actually does really matter to evaluation and getting the pick right then stick to this channel but today we're talking about production analytics only um, so that's the main thing we're and, and only production analytics in terms of the tight ends that popped production wise this season so just to give you some names to uh, have in your mind to look into, uh, if you will, uh, based on the data going up to this point. So first off, let's get terms and definitions out of the way. Uh, first off, a term that you definitely need to know, this is by far the most important term to know when it comes to tight ends and production data, is MSPY or passing yardage market share production. Now what is passing yardage market share production? Passing yardage market share production essentially is where you take the uh, you take the uh, individual receiving yardage of a tight end and you divide it by the team passing yardage. So if a tight end had 500 yards and a 5,000 yard passing offense, then that tight end had 10% passing yardage market share production. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. So that is essentially what market share is. And the basic way to explain it to somebody like, why does it matter? Well, it matters because it's giving you an idea of how much of the offensive tight end made, how much of a threat he was he. Uh, and on top of that, based on data, most high quality tight ends, 95% or higher, are, were productive in college. Um, a lot of the Jimmy Graham and Antonio Gates, because everybody brings up Jimmy Graham and Antonio Gates. Like they go, oh, well, production doesn't matter at tight end because of Jimmy Graham or production doesn't matter because of Antonio Gates. You know, Antonio Gates uh, didn't play any football at all. He was a basketball player. But if you actually look at the history of tight ends since 1969, that's a very rare occurrence. It's, it's a new phenomenon, if you will. It's something that's only really happened in the last 15 years. Antonio Gates and Jimmy Graham are guys who've really only happened very recently. So it's a recency bias. So again, just to put it into perspective, most tight ends have above average passing yardage market share production if you're talking about a high quality tight end. 
And it's backed up by every era of football going all the way back to the 1960s. So that's basically the, the, the information that you need about this. Now the next part, and this is less important, but just to let you guys understand this as well, is MSY, which is total, total individual yardage, which is receiving plus rushing, divided by team total yardage. Okay, so this basically deals with if a tight end had, say, a th let's say a tight end was going ham and had a thousand yards total. They had they were rushing and they were receiving and they got a thousand yards and they and they were in offense that had four thousand yards. Then that tight end had twenty five percent total offensive market share or MSY. This does not matter for tight ends, but. I just have it here just to give you that extra bit of information, just to go the extra mile to give you some more context about how they might have fit into that offense and those other sort of parts. Uh, so now let's get to the list. So these are all the tight ends that in this particular season, so not last year, because there definitely were some tight ends that popped statistically last year. And when I do videos on those tight ends in the future, I'm going to be talking about a lot of this, talking about how their production you know, dipped and flowed and did it go up? Did it go down? Was it stagnant? I'm getting a lot of that stuff when I do individual tight end videos, but these are just the tight ends that in this particular season pop the most statistically. Uh, so, and a lot of them are not draft eligible. So, uh, for example, guys like Ricky Smalling is a freshman. Uh, John Ursi or, or, uh, Ursua from Hawaii is a redshirt sophomore. I really doubt he declares. Uh, Kyle Williams is a sophomore as well. Uh, of course, we have Adam Brenneman from UMass making another appearance. He was on the top five tight end list. Uh, we have Troy Fumagalli from Wisconsin. Uh, we have Jerome Washington, who's a redshirt sophomore. Uh, Hayden Hurst is on this list. Noah... Tagiol, uh, Tagi, I'm probably saying that wrong. I apologize. Uh, Tommy Sweeney, uh, Mark Andrews is here as well. Jalen Harvey from uh, Arizona State. Uh, we have Donnie Ernsberger from Western Michigan. Blake Mack from Arkansas State. Ryan Smith from Miami, Ohio. And Ryan Juracek from Marshall. Uh, there are some other tight ends on this list that I just kind of threw in because they're names that people are familiar with, like Michael Giusecki from Penn State, uh, Garrett Dickerson from uh, Northwestern, and a couple other guys as well. Uh, but these are all the tight ends to kind of familiar, you know, familiarize yourself with. Uh, these are the tight ends that stuck out the most from a production standpoint uh, in this season. And again, I'm going to be doing videos in the future that are going to be a little bit more nuanced, uh, individual videos looking at the tight ends uh, in terms of their production relative to all of their peers. So essentially looking at the tight ends production compared to all the tight ends since 1969, uh, getting into athleticism data, getting into size, measurables, all that stuff. So all that stuff is going to be in the future, guys. I just wanted to make this video, get this out there to get you guys some names, some guys, some prospects to have on your mind so that you can, you know, better yourself and improve and uh, maybe catch a tight end here. I mean, there might be a tight end that's in here that is amazing that people just didn't watch for whatever reason. So uh, just throwing that out there. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well uh, if you want more content. And of course, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.